we can't eat fertilizer. Embakasi East MP Babu Owino was not amused by President William Ruto's stride to reduce the cost of fertilizer and lift maize flour subsidy. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online political forum where I talk about the Kenyan politics. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. Take a few seconds, hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Babu ridiculed the effort stating that Kenyans require their basic needs met first before waiting for the plantation season to enjoy the low fertilizer prices. And I quote, Kenyans need basic needs, that is food, education, f clothing and shelter. Reduce taxes on clothing and rent. Fertilizer is not a short term solution. And I proceed. We have to wait for the planting season and the harvest season too. By that time, some Kenyans would have succumbed to hunger. He stated while speaking to the media. The embassy is poked holes are the excuses the government presented in their first week in office. He recalled that Kenya Kwanzaa promised to lower the cost of maize flour to 70 shillings from the pocket breaking 200 shillings per 2 kilogram packet. On education matters, Babu Owino urged that the government should fulfill its promises. And I quote, if I would have been the cabinet secretary for education, right now education would be free of charge in Kenya. No one would be sent home for lack of fees. However, there's a next time and God's time it's the best. And I quote, let Ruto serve and work for the people. I want to challenge him. He said that help loan will be a grant. Let him start with that, Babu urged. He further lauded Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa for being courage courageous enough to face his critics and dedicate his duty. Despite the backlash, the deputy president has received for his bold speeches in public meetings. And I quote, Rigard resembles a chief. However, he's very fluent and wherever he goes, he speaks and is an intelligent person. Babu stated, what do you think about Embakasi East MP coming out criticizing the government? And how, what is your opinion when he came out saying that Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa resembles a chief? Leave your comment down below.